everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and my channel is all about luxury, vintage fashion, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. And today I have two new handbags to share with you guys. So this first bag you guys have may seen over on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. I'll put my handle up on the screen, but um, I share a lot of like my styling, a lot of like handbag, like humor, funny videos and things. And typically I show my handbag reveals on my YouTube channel first, but this one's actually a loan from Rebag. So they're letting me borrow this bag for a few weeks to try out. Um, and it's a great way for me to like try out new bags and share my honest opinions about them without necessarily investing in all of them at once. So I feel like it's a great way for me to like share the information about bags and um, show some really interesting new bags. So this one is incredible. I saw this bag and I knew I had to give it a try. So again, it's from Rebag, which I share Rebag all the time. I've personally bought from them many times. Um, I find that the process is really easy. Um, the bags are usually always as described and they have a great returns policy. So you have, if you ever have any issues, um, you can always return something. Um, and like I say, I always double authenticate. I always recommend double authenticating. Um, I'll put where I usually do my online authentications down below in the description box, but um, they authenticate as well. Um, and I have never had any issues, but here is the dust bag and you guys, this bag is insane. Wait till you see it. It is a Fendi first bag in this incredible velvet. It's navy blue. It has navy blue suede here. And this is the small size of the Fendi first bag. So, wow. I cannot get over how gorgeous this bag is. I've definitely been intrigued by the Fendi first bag since it first came out and um, I've seen some beautiful versions of it, but you know, with new bags, I'm always a bit hesitant to like just jump right in. You never know when something's like a trend, if it's going to last for a long time or if it's going to be like so saturated in the market that you just get sick of it. So this bag is amazing. I, I can't get over it. So it's in this beautiful marble print. So if you can see, it has gray, navy, some lighter blue, some like burnt orange, and there's even some really beautiful deep, deep green. If you can see, it's almost like better in the light. I hope it's picking it up on the camera, but it's so beautiful. And if you haven't seen the Fendi first bag before, and this is actually the first time I've held a Fendi first bag. So on first impressions is definitely weighty. So this top part, this clasp bag, is really heavy on top but it's very very like sturdy and you see the f is not on the back it's just on that front side and it has that oblong shape which is really cool i love that the clasp it's very like vintage vibes which you guys know how obsessed i am with vintage and vintage inspired bags so i feel like it has that like vintage kind of clutch feel but i love that it has the addition of a strap because that just makes it so much more wearable i just find with clutches it's impractical for the majority of time but add a little shoulder strap which is adjustable by the way and it just makes it so much handier to wear and i'll show cutaways of it on me just for reference but yeah it's insane so it has these little d-rings which fendi's always known for these little round d-rings here which are really nice and it's easy to come like on and off i'm just gonna leave it on for the sake of the video but it does hang perfectly upright the way they have it and then the clasp you just push the button here to open it opens very easily let me take the stuffing out so you guys can see the inside of the bag so it is lined in leather completely lined in leather if you can see that there and there are no pockets it's just one big compartment with the fendi tag at the bottom and a fendi logo here on the back here so just one big pocket. It definitely fits like a phone. This is an old phone, but that fits in there. No problem. Um, you could fit all the essentials. It's definitely very roomy because it has some width to it, which is nice. And again, easy open and close. Really nice. And 
this really gives it a nice grip to hold on to. You can see that kind of has that ridge that wraps in. So it's really easy to grab here. So very nice. I think it's so elegant. I actually have an event to go to tonight. So I'm going to carry it and see how I like it. And I can give you guys an update as far as how I get on with the bag, how I like it as far as when I wear it. This is just kind of my first impressions. I was very excited and I really wanted to get a video up for you guys about it. So yeah, I am crazy for this bag. I think it's so beautiful. It is a bit similar to my vintage Chanel velvet bag, which let me grab that just to compare it for you guys. So here's my vintage Chanel bag just to compare. It is a much, much bigger. Um, and I have a video on this bag. If you guys want to see, I'll link it below if you want to see more info, but yeah, definitely way bigger, but, um, this is still a great size. I like that it's smaller, but I mean, do I need two velvet clutches in my collection? I don't know. I mean, this one is beautiful though. So, um, we'll see if I end up sending it back or buying it. Um, that's always an option. I could buy it too, but, um, we'll see. I'm trying to be good at least for these first couple months of the year, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. I would say though, like now that I took the stuffing out, you can kind of feel it is like getting a little squishier. So I would definitely recommend, um, you know, keeping something in it, especially when it's just at rest because you don't want it to lose its shape over time. So that's what I would recommend. And also something I am noticing. So this is a secondhand bag. It was in excellent condition. But the one wear where I'm noticing is that on this FF, since it is suede, it is delicate and you can kind of see because you're touching it all the time, especially if you have like makeup on your hands or oil. Um, it's definitely kind of matting the suede there a little bit if you can see. So that's where there would definitely be wear. So it's just something you have to be aware of. And if you are choosing a lighter color bag, I would just be careful this may not be like the best choice. It depends on, I mean, this is probably in leather on the leather version. So that might be a little bit harder wearing, but just something to think about if you are grabbing this all the time and it's a white bag or a light colored bag, you are gonna see a lot more wear there than with a darker color. So yeah, what do you guys think about this? I would love to hear in the comments. I mean, I just think it's stunning stunning bag. So I am so excited to give this baby a try, but I thought it'd be super interesting for you guys to see. And yeah, really great size. I think the small is a great size. You can still fit everything in big enough to fit everything in, but not like too big. So it kind of just depends on like the style you're going for. I think this one would be a little bit more classic than the larger size, just my opinion, but yeah, I absolutely love it. And then I also want to share a new in bag. So this bag was gifted to me, but I have no obligation to say anything about it, to talk about it, to show it. Um, but I think that it is actually a bag that's really beautiful and worth sharing, especially if you're looking for a bag that's kind of like a workhorse bag, but in the more affordable range, but still high quality. So this is a brand called Songmont and I've been following them for a while on Instagram. They have really beautiful bags and I wanted to try out this song bag. So this is the medium song bag, but it is super roomy. The leather is beautifully soft. It's thick, so it's, it feels amazing quality, but also really nice and soft. It's pebbled, so it's not going to show wear as easily as a smooth leather would and it has four feet on the bottom, which is super handy for when you're putting it down. It has a strap, which is adjustable and also removable, so you don't have to have a strap. You know me, I love a top handle and a strap situation, so that just makes it very easy to use every day. It has plenty of space, so there's a magnetic closure at the top that you can open or shut, which is just adds a little bit of security. And then also on the inside, on the other side, there's also this tab where you can kind of tie it around and in if you want additional security. Um, and there's also, so you can see kind of the raw inside of the leather. Um, it's just one large compartment. And then there's these two snaps on the side here because it comes with this pouch as well, which is really nice. It's a magnetic top on the front and 
the zip in the back here, which is lined in a beautiful silk satin. And then there's cards for here, slip pockets, if you want us to slide your cards in. I mean, beautiful attention to detail. Honestly, it feels really nice quality. And of course these bags are not cheap, but they're not like designer bag price, but I feel like the quality is honestly really there in these bags. This is a dust bag. I didn't have it in the dust bag just to show you, but it's a really nice like muslin dust bag, very soft. And yeah, honestly, my first impressions of this bag and this brand is that it's absolutely beautiful. I would definitely recommend. I started using this bag immediately and that's like a good sign. I feel like when I'm excited to use a bag, um, that that's a good sign. So I like immediately took this bag out and used it yesterday and I loved it. It has so much room. It's so easy to get everything, but I also feel like not everything's just going to spill out. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to continue using this. If you have any questions, you can put it down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer as I use this bag more. And you can see how I'm going to be styling it over on my Instagram. What I love is that this color actually matches my Sambas perfectly. So I feel like that'll be such a cute combination. I think it'll look beautiful in the springtime with whites, um, this color, but it does come in a bunch of different colors. So um, yes, and sizes too. It comes in a bunch of different sizes as well. It comes in one that's larger than this, it comes in a smaller one. So um, yeah, they have amazing bags. I would definitely recommend checking it out. And I'll pop a link below to this bag. Um, if I can find any similar of the Fendi First bags, uh, pre-loved, I will link those down below as well. And if you have any questions, again, put them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And until next time, take care. Bye.